hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is marie if you haven't been here before hi how are you doing i have a special announcement to make i decided to make an only fans account no sorry no porn but just expect to see a lot of inappropriate photos there 18 and older head on over to onlyfans.com slash game over beauty and i decided to do this green look to introduce you guys to my only fans because most of what's going to be on my only fans is me talking about marijuana and there's a lot more that i have planned for you guys and i'll talk about it more during in this video. I have a special promo going on right now for my OnlyFans. The first 20 people who sign up will get a full month for free. That promo ends on the 1st, so just a couple more days from now. After that, it'll only be $4.99 a month to sub to my OnlyFans. I have one video on there just kind of introducing myself and talking more in depth about what I want to do for this OnlyFans. So if you're 18 or older, you can check it out if you want a little bit more specifics and hear a little bit more about me. Other than the video, I have some photos on there as well. So if you guys want to see how I did this look and hear more about my OnlyFans account then keep on watching. Let's hop right in to this tutorial. So I just want to talk to you guys about what I've been doing and let you all in on why I started my OnlyFans channel. As you guys can see my face and my eyes are already prepped for today's tutorial so we can focus more so on the actual eye look and everything about my OnlyFans. First product that I'm grabbing for today's tutorial, it's the Jeffree Star Alien Palette. And I'm going to use this color right here called Titan to set my eyes. So there are quite a few reasons I wanted to start this OnlyFans. But probably the biggest reason why I started is because I just want to upload more content that isn't necessarily good for YouTube. Not that I don't think people on YouTube wouldn't watch it, it's just that it's a very family friendly space. And I'm an almost 27 year old adult and there's a lot of things I want to talk about and share with you guys that isn't good for the rest of the world like children and since on OnlyFans you can really do whatever you want there are obviously stipulations to that rule. I know OnlyFans is mostly known for porn stars or like amateur porn people to promote their stuff but you really can do anything you want on there like you can teach people how to do certain workouts or you can teach someone how to play the piano or some kind of other instrument kind of like YouTube or kind of like Skillshare but like I Skillshare you can get paid for it on OnlyFans. The only difference is that OnlyFans is more considered an adult website. If you're under the age of 18 do not go to my page because you are not welcome. I am sorry. Hit 18 and then you can do whatever the hell you want. I'm next going into the color abduction and I'm gonna use this color to start darkening up my crease. Now to further explain what I mean like not content good for YouTube. I mean like I want to talk about weed. I want to talk about sex. I want to inspire other big girls like me to feel sexy and be confident because that's a big thing that not a lot of people like me have and I think we all deserve it. So another reason why I decided to do OnlyFans because I don't want to deal with YouTube being a bitch about this not being family friendly if I post like lingerie reviews or anything like that. And it feels a lot more like this is my own space, special for me to like come and talk to you guys on. YouTube's kind of that way, but since they're always trying to restrict people about what they can talk about, I know I don't have to worry about being monetized because I'm not monetized on my YouTube channel, but it is something I like to keep in mind for later so I don't start doing it now and continue to do it later when I am starting to get monetized, if that ever becomes a thing. So I figured I would put 18 plus and like other mature content onto OnlyFans and keep everything like makeup related and that anything that's slightly more family friendly will stay here on YouTube and on my Instagram and other more family friendly places. Next we're grabbing this forever beautiful Morphe X Jeffree Star palette for the perfect color Wake and Bake and I'm just going to continue darkening up this crease here. I mentioned a tiny bit already but things apply planning on doing weed reviews, lingerie reviews, 
reviews um possibly like alcohol reviews every once in a while i also want to do some sex story reviews which is definitely not welcome here on youtube of course it's kind of like hard to tell on here but i'm very much an advocate for safe and healthy sex and i think people should be having more of it to be honest obviously if you're both consenting adults or however many consenting adults there are again adult and consent both very important words and another thing that kind of goes along with sex is masturbation i want to normalize it because it is very normal it's a very healthy thing it's a huge stress relief that's another thing i want to promote on there other than just sex in general now we're going to move on to a really oldie but goodie the androgyny palette and i'm going to take this color called military right here and i'm just going to use this in the very outer corner here just a little bit darker it's just a little bit dark it's a little bit more neutral tone so it'll help tone down this bright green just a little and darken it just got that little hint of darkness that i don't have over here and don't forget the very edge right here if you guys watched my last video this palette is going to look very familiar i'm using the violet voss essentials palette and i'm dipping into this color here called emerald i'm going to use this to fill in most of my lid now got a little bit of fallout on that one i grabbed a little too much i think <laughs> so the reason why i'm doing this very very green look today is because i'm also going to be filming a video for my only fans since i want to do weed reviews on my only fan i figured i might as well take a little bit of extra time and learn more about marijuana myself other than just hey this is indica this is sativa cbd and thc are a thing the basics that pretty much everyone knows and i wasn't expecting to learn a whole lot from it but i really did learn quite a bit from the research that i did and i learned some new things i even learned that there was a third strain of weed didn't know that was a thing i even learned a little bit more about medical marijuana and i'll tell you some of those medical marijuana videos i watched i was mostly watching ted talks by the way but a couple of those ted talks where they're talking about the more medical side of marijuana i cried a few times not gonna lie and if you sub to my only fans you'll hear all those reasons why my only fans video will be out on the following monday of this video now i'm going back into the morphe palette and going for the color called nate and i'm gonna use this color to start blending my sparkly color in with my crease colors oh i love this color it's such a beautiful bright green i need more green palettes in my life i want to get the color pop mint to be palette but it's still not like the greens i want i want this i want a full palette of greens now we're moving on to the very last eyeshadow color again grabbing the alien palette and going for the color alien and this is going to be our very inner corner color might even have to grab like i will i'm gonna have to grab a few more colors to kind of blend right in here a little bit better i'm gonna use abduction to kind of blend those colors together okay guys we are done with the eye look now i'm gonna go throw on some real quick easy liner and some mascara and i'll be right back to finish with the lips see i went very very simple with the liner now that all of our powders are finally on we're gonna move on to the spray today i feel like using my jeffree star x morphe one as well because it smells absolutely divine and to completely finish off today's look we're not using a jeffree star liquid lipstick we're actually using this mac lipstick it feels like it dries down but it doesn't dry down completely which kind of pisses me off but it's a beautiful color and i wanted to use it for this look so those sweetie right here this is by mac this is called key lime truffle isn't that so pretty and it turns out so sparkly it looks very close to the venus flytrap color from jeffree star cosmetics but this one is like a metallic shimmery color so makes it slightly better but it doesn't have the staying power unfortunately mm. and it smells like vanilla cupcakes which makes it even better it doesn't have the best coverage if you can kind of see like right down in here and like up in here i'm just being a little bit nitpicky I know this isn't a review, but I'm kind of used to doing reviews on this channel, so I can't help but say something when I don't like it or if I really like it. But yeah, this is it for today's look. My 420 friendly, like, hello to OnlyFans look. And here's your close-up. 
If you guys want to check out my OnlyFans, I do have a special promo going on just for a couple more days. The first 20 people who sub to my OnlyFans page get it completely free for a full month. Since I'm just starting out, I wanted to give a few of you guys a good chance to check out my stuff and see if you really like what I have going on on there. I only have one video so far, but in a couple of days it'll be two videos and I plan on doing it every week, every Monday. So you can come here to YouTube on Fridays and OnlyFans on Mondays and see pictures of me in between on like Instagram or Twitter, Snapchat, all of the good stuff I got going on. But if you like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All of my socials are linked down below if you want to go follow me there. See you guys in the next video. <laughs>